Before I start part three, understand that I do not have the ending. She has not come back and filled me in. I have asked her. I've asked her a couple of times. So recognize that there will be a cliffhanger and it's not my fault. I'm giving you guys what I got. All right. So remember at last, I mean, at last time we spoke, um, this OP, who I'm calling Tasha, had won her judgment. Baby daddy got um, 36 months in jail. However, he only served one um, and she was awarded $10,000 restitution. Now, she did continue the story because this is an ongoing thing. OK, so that is where we ended. Let's get into it. OK, so this is what Tasha says. As I stated early on, this was the beginning of of almost another five years of back and forth between him and I. It took months for the system to even get him to um, get him to court for paternity, so long that he was released and continued to skip testing dates. Finally, after threatening to call the police using the stay away order, ah, no contact, remember, order, he finally submitted to testing. During the mediation, I asked if I could just have his rights and forget child support. At this, um, this is the moment after him telling the mediator he was never paying me anything, that I ruined his life and he was never going to forgive me. They just refused to take accountability for any of their actions. The mediator tells me that without proof of some form of neglect, there was no way for the court to force him to waive his rights. So he interjects that he was unwilling to do that. So here I am again, looking at people who just don't get it and have no real understanding. I add that he was convicted of fraud using my son's personal information to get an apartment. You would think that would work, right? Nope. A judge would have to rule that because of the prior case, it is deemed to be a form of abuse or neglect. So I just throw my hands up. The mediator does these calculations and set child support for $300 a month and prorates it back to when my son was born and he had just turned three. Months go by. Nothing, not a notification letter that he's even paid. Nearly a year into our child support order, I finally get some mail that said that there had been a driver's license suspension and in order for my son's father to resolve the issue, he would need to pay a minimum payment of $25 for three months consecutively in order for him to get his driver's license back. A month later, I received my first two, my first of two child support payments ever in the grand total of $71. I asked my son if he wanted to do something with the money. He decided on a movie. There is no movement on anything. Years go by. In 2015, I opened a hair salon in my town. Of course, you have the big ribbon cutting, and of course, you have to um, have a Facebook business page. A few months into me opening the shop, the phone rings, and surprise, surprise, guess who it is? Yay, it's baby daddy. He starts by telling me how sorry he is about everything, that it's all his fault, not specifically saying what he did, just meekly apologizing, saying he knows that I'm such a great mother. I said, the person you need to apologize to is my son. And by the way, where's my money? His tone shifts to, to how he knows he owes me money. And he also knows that his birthday had recently passed. Mind you, my son and his first daughter share the same birthday, as I understand. He tells me he wants to apologize to me and our son in person and also give him money. Child, I was just like rolling my eyes. I tell him, never call my place of business. And if he wants to speak to his son, he better send a pigeon. Two days later, a busted minivan pulls up in front of my shop. I'm cleaning up in between clients. I see a pile of men fall out the van. At first, I think nothing of it. Then I look. <sighs> this is where she ends it. Okay, I have to continue later. Sorry, my story is so long winded, but I have to tell it the way I speak normally. I'll continue tomorrow if it's okay. This is where she ends it. She ended it like this. And it's been since Thursday. So that is the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger, they piled out of the van. They piled out of the busted van. And this is where she leaves us. We don't know. Does she get her money? I don't know. What does the dad talk to his son that he hasn't seen? We don't know. Hopefully the OP of this child support story 
emails me back because I am interested and I know y'all are too.